Alright, yo guys, just your Mac 2 here, and today I am back in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So today we're doing a slightly different video, uh, I'm actually doing a frame rate comparison between two machines. So my old machine, well it's the same machine, I've just done some, sl some slight upgrades to it. So I had 16 gigs of RAM, a GTX 1070 8GB uh, super clocked version, and a Ryzen 5 1600. X and just obviously some other stuff, but we're not too worried about that for now So that was my old PC and I have recorded some footage of that as you'll see in a minute uh, Of Microsoft Flight Sim on that PC, sorry, and I have now upgraded to a GTX 1080 8 gigabyte uh, No, sorry 11 gigabyte and a Ryzen 7 1700x So it's a pretty big upgrade now Weirdly in Microsoft Flight Sim, I've not I, I've not seen a huge difference in frame rate. Frame rate will be is pretty much the same, but there's much less stuttering and it does feel smoother. It feels like the frame rate has gone up by about 10 or 20 FPS. But my frame rate counter doesn't show that. It's quite strange. Okay. And so the only on all these um Recordings I've set the weather to be the same the aircraft are the same the uh, Airports are the same and it is the same time of day. The only difference is is On the after footage on the new setup. I have update upgraded the drivers because it's a new graphics card and I have also with the Airbus Updated the fly-by-wire mod from 0.3 to 0.5 So if anything that should inhibit it slightly because there's so much more going on Huge shout out to those guys, they do an amazing job on that. And if you want to see how to install it or how to update it, I do have a video on that and it should come up on the card in the top right. Anyway, let's get into it. So, first of all, we have this. We are going to start with the uh, a Cessna 172 with the Garmin 1000 at a small airport. Okay, so... As we can see here, we are currently sitting around 30, between 33 and 39 inches. All goes it goes up to 40 when we go to external camera. Um, but as you can see, it is it's quite stuttery and it's not massively smooth. So I believe now, yep, about to take off. There we are, and then we can see what happens once we get airborne. So as you can see, it's a slow start. Look all the stuttering. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. My, keep in mind, guys, this is whilst I'm recording as well. But yes, I do get a slightly better frame rate when I'm not recording. So we will keep it center line. Obviously, I'm not flying this currently. This is before footage on the old setup, back on the GTX 1070. And there we are. We're airborne. Lots of stutters. 35, 36 FPS, not bad. It's a really good FPS for Microsoft Flight Sim actually. I am on high settings and I'll show you the settings in a second. And yeah, that does look beautiful. This is a uh, Leicester Airport, uh, EGBG, Echo Golf, Bravo, Bravo Golf. Just a small airfield. And I think OBS has actually recorded it slightly stuttery a little bit as well. I didn't see it wasn't that bad when I was actually flying. So let's move on to the after footage now, guys. Alright guys, this is now the after footage on the new machine, the GTX 1080 and the Ryzen 7. Now as you can see much less stutters there it was perfectly smooth when i was uh flying that's just obs but it is a very 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 heavy uh flight sim so there we're about 30 so the frame rate is slightly lower weirdly and i i don't understand why i mean i've upgraded it and i've got no idea why it's uh slightly lower but it definitely felt smoother when i was flying so, and I've not changed settings or anything guys, so I don't know why it's like there's something must be bottlenecking my uh, PC 
So if anyone does have any ideas on why it's not um, gonna bear in mind guys this is like the first flight I did on the um, new graphics card so possibly it's just kind of getting used to itself kind of thing I don't know but there we are goes up to 42 41 on the external camera but that does look beautiful doesn't it wow amazing next let's move on to the Cessna before and we can move on to it at a larger airport so we are going to Heathrow so I will show you that footage now right guys here we are at Heathrow airport and of course the frames are going to die because it's such a huge airport such highly detailed they've done an amazing job they really really have so Again, same settings, same weather, same time of day and everything. We are external camera, about 30 FPS, it looks like. Yep. It's nice, and again, there's stutters. And as soon as we go back to the cockpit, we are sitting around 27, 26, 28, around there. Yeah, so let's see what happens when we get airborne. So we're going to put that power in. There we go, keep the aircraft center line. Now, in some other games, not necessarily Microsoft Flight Sims, so for example, Apex Legends, I have seen a huge uh, impact on performance. That has, yeah, I've, I'm really, really happy with it in that scenario, but I was expecting a bit more of Microsoft Flight Sim, to be fair. So, we take off about 20 frames, 22. 21, somewhere around there. Now, bear in mind this is a higher VRAM. Uh, this is 3 gigs more VRAM, this graphics card. There we are, obviously not realistic flying. So external camera, again 25-ish. And again guys, this is before on the GTX 1070. Still starts me. Okay, so let's go back and look at the after footage for Heathrow Airport. Alright guys, here we are at Heathrow Airport. Uh, about to take off. So you can see we're sitting around 30 frames now. That is 10 FPS more than we had before actually, so that's great. It is a different runway that might have a slight impact. Um, so this is on the new system, GTX 1080 with the Ryzen 7. Oh, we have dipped to 24, 25. So yeah, there's a slight improvement there, about 5 or 10 FPS. Let much less stuttering though, that's what we like to see. About to take cough in a second, there we are. And once we're airborne, 22 FPS, nice. And again, not realistic flying. Right, so there, about 22. And all about external camera, 26, 25, 27, 28. It seemed like it was steadily rising. Rising? What's that? Steadily rising. And we're about to buzz the tower here in a Cessna 172. <laughs> so, there we are. Okay. <laughs> Enough of that. So, let's go now to the Airbus. A320 and this is on fly-by-wire version 0.3 of the aircraft and I believe we are here at Heathrow so let's move over to that footage alright guys here we are at Heathrow Airport in the Airbus A320 um, so on the ground it looks like in the cockpit we're sitting around 20 frames ish 22 yeah, somewhere around there. Oh, we jumped 29 randomly there, apparently. Or did I say 22? Um, so, let's see what happens when we go to external camera in a second. Apparently, we're not going to external camera. We are just going to go for a takeoff. Oh, there's the external camera. 30 frames when we're in the external camera. Got a lovely British Airways livery here. 
And you'll actually hear the sound difference as well between Fly-By-Wire, that Airbus 0.3 and 0.5. They updated the sounds and the sounds are now amazing. So we will be taking off. There's V1 and rotate. All right. So 18 frames, 17 frames, we're sitting around there. 19, let's give her up. And external camera, 27 FPS. Okay. So, 20 FPS, this is on the old version yet again. So now, let's go to our new footage. Alright guys, here we are back at Heathrow Airport in the Airbus A320. We do have a new, this is version 0.5. We're gonna, gonna, go, gonna go for takeoff, I can't speak. 21 FPS, but it's in a similar 1 or 2 FPS different. But listen to those sounds guys, those updated sounds. Ooh. They do sound amazing. But as you can see, look, less stuttering. It, it it just seems smoother even though the FPS says otherwise. It's, it's kind of difficult to explain. Let's rotate. And we're going to go for gear up. Okay, so flying out of Heathrow Airport, I believe we're going to go into an external view. And again, this is on the new system, guys, the GTX 1080. Are we going to go to external? <laughs> sure, hope we do. Looks like I'm adjusting my... Ah, I was trying to get my autopilot to fly here, and it was being annoying. So, yep, as you can see, I don't know what it was doing, to be honest with you. Alright, there's the external camera, guys, and 30 FPS, 28, 26. But look at that, oh my days, does London look beautiful? Wow, amazing. And for these visuals, I can sacrifice those uh, FPS. Since I do get around 40 in the next plane. See, I don't know why I've not got a huge FPS improvement. There's a nice rainbow there. Look at that. That's amazing. But now we're going to move to a Airbus in a small airport. Alright guys, here we are at an, with an Airbus at a smaller airport. So this is East Midlands Airport. EGNX Echo. Go November X ray and you can see external camera with about 30 FPS. Again, this is on the old fly by wire um, mod and also the old setup. And cockpit view looks like we're getting 25, 20, whatever that says, 29, 26 frames, somewhere around there. So that's not bad. We're gonna go for a takeoff, guys. And this is on the old sounds of the external camera. That was giving us around 40 FPS just there. And we have V1 and rotate. Oh, we have a nice external rotation. Very nice. I recorded this a few days ago. Right, and there was a gear up. 40 FPS in the external camera, very nice. No, oh, don't know over speed. And again, about 20 to 30 FPS, it fluctuates the external cam. So now let's go to the after on the new system. Here we are at, he at uh, East Midlands in the new Airbus, the not version at 0.5. So external camera around 31, 32 FPS on the ground. So I believe that I have less frames here in the Airbus because of the updated fly-by-wires mod 
uh, there's much more going on with the systems of the aircraft much more complicated however much more realistic so in the cockpit around 20 fps now and again it did seem slightly slightly smoother when I was flying um, we are not keeping center line there very well and there was V1 and rotate a very harsh rotation apparently <laughs> Uh, 18 FPS, 16 FPS, let's gear up. And yeah, it just, it, it did seem smooth, I keep on saying it, I, I don't know why. Something must have bought on PC. I do have 16 gigs of RAM, which should have been enough. You know, I, I don't know whether I need to upgrade to 32, but something I think is bottlenecking my PC, I'm not completely sure what it is. Alright guys, that's it for this video, there's a nice little comparison, you guys can see the difference, even though there isn't much of a difference, or the difference is inverted as it seems, but you know, just a quick comparison video as I was upgrading my machine, my machine does seem a lot, lot faster though, especially with loading time, loading time is about halved in Microsoft Flight Sim. so stuff like that, the menus are much less laggy, and there's less stutters. Hopefully I can refine my settings so I can get that few more FPS. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe, it will help me out a lot. Uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one guys. Thank you very much.